Simplifying fractions. We should always reduce fractions to their simplest form. It makes fractions easier to work with, and it also helps us to communicate more clearly. Let's take this example. We can see from this fraction wall that one half is equivalent to four eighths. But what is the process of simplifying four eighths? So we end up with the simplest form, one half. First, we find the greatest common factor of both the top number and the bottom number. The greatest common factor is the largest number that will divide evenly into both numbers. One, two, and four are all common factors. The largest, or greatest, common factor is four. Then we divide both the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. Four divided by four? One. Eight divided by four? Two. Four eighths simplified is one half. It's important to remember that we must always divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Whatever we do to the top number, we must do to the bottom number, and vice versa. Let's have a go together at simplifying the following two fractions. We'll start with this one, 12 sixteenths. Step one, find the greatest common factor. The factors of 12 are one, two, three, four, six, and 12. And here are the factors of 16. One, two, four, eight, and 16. 12 and 16 have these factors in common. The largest of the common factors is four. Step two, divide the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. 12 divided by four and 16 divided by four. 12 divided by four is three. 16 divided by four is four. 12 sixteenths reduced to its simplest form is three quarters. Now let's simplify the second fraction, 25 thirty-fifths. Step one, find the greatest common factor. The factors of 25 are one, five, and 25. The factors of 35 are one, five, seven, and 35. 25 and 35 have these factors in common. Five is the largest common factor. Step two, divide the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. 25 divided by five is five. 35 divided by five is seven. 25 thirty-fifths reduced to its simplest form is five sevenths. If we are having trouble working out the greatest common factor, we can choose any common factor, divide both the numerator and the denominator by this factor, and then repeat the steps until they can be reduced no further. This can be particularly helpful when simplifying fractions with large numbers. For example, let's simplify this fraction. I know a common factor of both numbers is two because both are even numbers. I'll divide the numerator and the denominator by two. 64 divided by two is 32. 112 divided by two is 56. We've reduced the original fraction, but it's not yet in its simplest form. We know this because we can still divide further. Both can still be divided by two. 32 divided by two is 16. 56 divided by two is 28. We can divide further still. We could divide by two again, but now I can see a larger common factor. Can you see it? Four. 
4 is a factor of both the numerator and the denominator. If we divide the numerator by 4, we get 4. And remember, whatever we do to the top number, we must do to the bottom number. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 4 sevenths. We know this fraction is now in its simplest form because there are no more common factors other than 1. Now it's your turn. Reduce the following fractions to their simplest form. Pause here while you work. Let's see how you went. The greatest common factor of 24 and 30 is 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. 30 divided by 6 is 5. 4 fifths. The greatest common factor of 10 and 15 is 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 2 thirds. The greatest common factor of 28 and 32 is 4. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 32 divided by 4 is 8. 7 eighths. EasyTeaching.net